All right, guys, I'm back with another video, Lost in Translation. It's Marcus. Look, today we got a weird video that came across. Um, it's Mad Child. It's called OnlyFans. Um, I'm, I hope you, I'm pretty sure you guys know what OnlyFans uh, is, but um, I only watched a really short, like, a real short, uh, like, two or three I wouldn't say like that. I was like about 20 seconds of this video so I could get it. I, I was like, oh, okay, cool. This would be a cool one to, to react to or, or review, break down, because um, it's weird. So, hey, man, I've heard of Mad Child before. I've seen some of There was one video where he was in like a, a weird forest. I might put up the little thumbnail of that one. It's something, I think he was bald in a forest or some shit. I, don't, I remember that like vaguely, but anyways... So, hey, with no further ado, Mad Child OnlyFans. One more time, Jimmy. Look, I realize that this is sexual awareness month, but hold on to your chair because I'm about to come be very blunt. Things are uh oh, I hope he doesn't say a bunch of cr that. This is about where I stopped it, and I, I hope he doesn't say a bunch of crazy shit like, you know. Who knows, man? <laughs> let we'll, we'll let it go. We'll see. But hold on to your chair, cause I'm about to come be very blunt. Things are changing quickly, saying only fans is normalized. But let me make a song to show this isn't normal, guys. Men have to watch what we say. There are so many restrictions. Women are winning and men are becoming the victim, not a prediction. It's a predicament. This is ridiculous. Used to be. Hey, on a side note though, Mad Child, <clears throat> he has dope little wordplay where he's bouncing over the beat like that. A hit on the net on the net on the net on the net. I think that's a cool little we say there are so many restrictions women are winning and men are becoming the victim not a prediction it's a predicament this is ridiculous used to be studs used to be pimps now they're laughing at you and you're tipping them and you're tripping they're calling you simp listening to cardi b and think about their selfish dreams go online and pray on lonely men that have low self-esteem acting like it's hard work with tips like they deserve it telling you you're cool and they think you're a weirdo and a pervert now some huh well, you are a weirdo and a pervert, which again, that's subjective of, is that even bad or good? Who kn I'm not here to judge, but you know, society has their standards of <laughs> what crosses the line for weirdo or pervert. And, um, you know, depending on what circles you run in, those, uh, those, those lines are blurred here and there. So it just depends. Acting like it's hard work with tips like they deserve it. Telling you you're cool and they think you're a weirdo and a pervert. Now some women make real money, but 80% make a hundred a month. That's a real fact. That's a real stat. I googled it like, what the? Talk about a letdown. Doesn't sound too fun though. These girls do their respect right out the window for a hundo. Rape culture, sexual assault. Oh, so he just said he googled. And, and, I, and I'm, I will not because I don't give a shit. But he said he Googled, um, I guess, the percentage of OnlyFans of people who make more than, than he said they, they average $100 a month. So I guess he's saying, I mean, $100 a week or a month. I don't know. Maybe he said a month. So, but then he's saying, so basically they're selling their soul for a hundo. But here's the thing, man. It's the same thing that everybody always talks shit about, like multi-level marketing companies or any of those, anything like that where you have to put all the work in to do what, even regular ass entrepreneurship, if you want, if you look it up, only 1% of the, you know, of the people in the world are, are, are past that way high uh, wealth line. So that gives you an idea of, it's the same thing that would trickle down to anything that takes hard work and effort. So I don't know if that's a perfect stat to use because I'm sure there's some lazy ass only fan chicks who take garbage pics who only upload every few weeks because they're too lazy. And yeah, those make a hundred, but I know women personally that make, um, six figures a month. So I don't know. That's, I don't know if that's an accurate stat. Is something real though? Maybe turn your camera off and put away your dildo. Fighting for your right to vote. That was feminism. Equal rights? I don't think that only fans was quite the vision. Hey, but it's a new world. Yeah, it's a new world. Man, I should look this up. He must have had he he must <laughs> look at that face. He looks like he's <laughs> his face right now looks like he's 
jizzing to an OnlyFans as we speak. <laughs> but that's either nor there. I bet he just had like a daughter or some shit because look oh shit he has a Jesus is he a Christian rapper? You know what? I need to I should probably do more research when I when I uh I know he's from Canada and I know he was like a battle rapper on King of the Dot. I think he he battled Dirtbag Dan and he lost. To you know, he beat Dirtbag Dan, which I can't believe. I'm actually want to look um look it up because I'd love to see it now. But I can't believe he would lose to Dirtbag Dan. But anyways, yeah, that face. What women become men and men are becoming girls. Hey, but it's a new world, yeah. How did they get this kid right here? Look, how'd they get this kid? Hey, uh, we're gonna. Where, where is it? I hold up. For the rest of your life, pictures pop up on the internet later. It might be a problem when you are a come in. This kid, and right here. this kid right here. How did they get like, hey, uh, we need a kid that we're gonna, um, emasculate and say <laughs> looks like a girl. Um, would you like to? Would you like to be that, that person? You fit the. You fit it perfectly. You know, I mean, like. <laughs> That's crazy. Coming girls. That's something that you can't take back. Following you for the rest of your life. Pictures pop up on the internet later. It might be a problem when you are a wife. And you got some kids and the children are laughing at them with their phones in the schoolyard. You say it's work for spreading your legs open. Don't seem too hard. Now shout out to women like Gucci Cash. Showing a cookie for stupid cash. House money for Rari money. Not saving up for a Gucci bag. And Jim Wolfie and Bella Thorne. 11 million dollars a month. For that kind of money, I pull up my Start blowing it up. It's brilliant. It's rape culture. Sexual assault is something. associate what he just said with Kendrick Lamar but that, that sounded like that sounded exactly like the Kendrick Lamar flow <laughs> and you know what I mean I don't again I don't want to turn your camera up and put away your dildo fighting for your right to vote that was feminism equal rights I don't think that only fans was quite the vision hey, but it's a new world yeah it's a new world where women become men and men are becoming girls hey, but it's a new world yeah I'm not even gonna listen to the rest. Man, look. Why do you give a fuck? <laughs> Man child. What is he? Mad child? Why do you give a shit? Mind your own goddamn business. <clears throat> Sorry. I had to give my two cents on that one. <laughs> my opinion is like, I can't believe he made a whole song to talk about this moron. Anyways. That's another video. <laughs> Lost in translation. I apologize for even putting you through this. Boston Translation, like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell so you get more videos, so it hits your phone, lets you know, be like, oh my god, Stu got a new video out, word, I can, while I'm sitting here in the Wendy's drive-thru, I can watch this shit, cause the line's too long, and we out.